20 years ago I was driving the old Impul Calsonic blue cars on Gran Turismo. Now I'm driving the real thing. It's always a, a shock. That car and team are very famous itself and anyone that's around my age has recognises that livery um, anywhere. For me it's like, oh this is it, this is awesome. Compared to Wales, where I'm from, it's uh, completely different. It's been weird. Living here, it's a lot more lively, a lot more going on. The food is, is so good. Like, everything tastes good here. Lettuce tastes good here. You know, the attention to detail they have in all these, uh, these different foods, everything tastes better. The biggest culture shock is uh, rules. If you're meeting someone who's older than you, you have to be there five minutes before them. Just learning the unwritten rules that they have, it's a lot easier just to get on day to day. For entertainment, pretty much the same as what I do back in the UK. I play games, we go out, we go eat some, go to some coffee places. They do good coffee in Tokyo. There's loads of different boroughs they have here and uh, you know, each borough is slightly different and take photographs for, for the gram. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this year, living with uh, Cassidy, we both race for different manufacturers and uh, race for Lexus, I race for Nissan. But it, it, it kind of works, you know, because, you know, if we're competing against each other. We'd, I don't want to give him my secrets of what tyre pressures we're running and what not, ride heights and whatever, and he doesn't do the same thing to me. So it's in our best interest to to not share everything under the sun setup wise on our car and uh, we both are similar age and um, we're both two gaijings in Japan and uh, it's a good situation to have. Having a base here in Japan it's good because you can spend more time here and get to see the, the engineers at the factory, talk to the team. Nissan likes to see it, Nismo likes to see it, Impul wants to see it to be integrated within Japanese culture and to learn the ins and the outs. I didn't feel like a rookie at all this year. You get to a point in your career where you're there on, on merit um, alone. Last year, doing F3 and then G and GT3 and then being promoted to 500, it's like, okay, I made this step up. They've seen, you know, I can do this. The racing is ace over here. It's mega competitive. There's a lot of testing time off track and on track that we have. It's uh, relentless. To be to be racing, you know, with Impul and Calsonic and you know, famous team owner, fastest man in Japan, Hoshino san. Uh, I like the responsibilities. I want to win and they want to win and uh, Hoshino san is fiercely competitive still like you wouldn't believe this guy, you know passion is, is, is awesome and he, he'll, he'll let you know about it as well if you're not pulling the weight. I hope this year I've uh, proved my worthiness. Uh, yeah, I would love to do it again next year.